do you because look? the process was corrupted. That's I mean you know in terms of, you know you asked about first of all the Tea Party. I mean you know if you're the candidate who's now been corrupted by and bought off by these political consultants out of Washington, how much of a tea, true Tea Party candidate are you? You know that's my question. I'm a voter now. I'm a constituent. I can speak just like any voter and ask these questions. And I'm asking the question is how much of a Tea Party is he? I'm a Tea Party guy. I'm, I'm registered, you know, as a Tea Party member, and I'm asking, well, how can we trust a guy who is now in bed with the insiders in the Beltline of Washington? I, I personally can't trust him. And in, in the in the campaign at the convention demonstrates the problems that we've got. We've got a handful of people who came in and spread money around. You know, from the the guy who called me after the convention and said his hotel room was paid for by Johnson's people if he stayed overnight and voted for Johnson. You know, from the guy who told me that his wife made him call me, his wife got him on the phone and said, you tell Terrence what you did. And he admitted to taking votes for me and putting them in his pocket so they weren't counted. I've got over a hundred stories like that of corruption, bribery, you know, coercion, my own employee being forced to vote for Johnson, being told absolutely that he was not allowed to vote for me. That he had to do is what the vice chair told him to do, you know. And that's just not, you know, that that statement is not true. He can vote any way he wishes, and yet he was coerced to voting for Johnson instead of for me. So there's a lot of bad things that happened in the convention. And personally, I don't want to be part of that. And I think we need to expose that as Republicans. We need to come out and say, you know what, enough is enough. We've seen this playbook now for many years. It's why many people have left the party. We're never going to rebuild our party if we don't start admitting our mistakes and start owning up in them and then correcting them and stopping this behavior of, of trusting these consultants in Washington to run our party. You know, it's our state, our party. We don't need people from Washington handpicking candidates for us. Let us pick our own candidates because they tried to buy off some of my staff at the convention. You know, they bought off one of my consultants, you know, who was earning maybe 30, 35,000 with me. And he got, I won't say how much, but he got significantly more than that. And I mean multiples of that number to leave and go for the Johnson campaign. So writing checks is not the way that we run politics in Wisconsin. And I'm for one, as a, as a leader in, of, of Republicans and conservatives in Dane County, as one of the top 20 donors to conservatives statewide for the last 10 years, you know, I'm not going to put up with it. I'm going to stand up and I'm going to say this is wrong. And we need to take back our party if we're going to win elections in the future. When I left that convention, people were walking out the door and they called me later and said, what did we just do? And these are Republicans telling me this. You know, what did we just do? Who did we just vote for? They had no idea who they just voted for. Um, and they have no idea about his background.